Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Hi, everybody. My name is Greg. I'm from France. So usually I'm, I'm speaking French, but uh, I'm speaking also English because my mom, she's Irish. And uh, as I say, uh, as they say, I'm living here in, in Gamboa. So I'm part of the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute. And one of my uh, one of my job is to study insects. So why are we studying insects? As you guys know, the world is full of insects. We know very little about them. As today, the scientists have put a name on 1.1 million insect species. But that's not all. We know that there is much more than that. We know there is between 6 and 8 million insects. So we, very, we know very little about the insects. And today, I need your help. Because we are studying an insect with my team, we call them the leaf miner. The leaf miner is what you can see here on the screen. I'm going to show you a small video. And today we have a mission. We need to study the leaf miner and to try to understand what they are doing. Usually, a caterpillar is feeding outside the leaves, right? You guys know what a caterpillar is. Oruga, you guys know. So la caterpillar is like caminando, is walking on the leaf and is feeding on the leaf. The leaf miner is another sort of insect. It's totally different. They are very old. They have evolved with the plant since a very, very long time. Millions of years ago, they evolved to be inside the leaf. So this caterpillar here, you can see the head of the leaf miner, thank you very much. You can even see the mandibles here. So this is the buccal part, the mouse part they are using to inject the food. Exactly, so they are eating with this part and you're going to see this just now. This is a very, very small caterpillar that is feeding but also living inside the leaf. And they are feeding, you can see here, so this is the entire leaf with the vein, and this is the caterpillar inside. So there is the head here, and the body is here, the abdomen, until the end of the abdomen here, and this is the, the faces, the poo-poo. So why leaf miner are inside the leaf? So they can feed it, so they can feed on the leaf inside, and what about the, the predator, the, the birds? Do you think the birds can catch them? So this is the whole part of the story, boys and girls. The caterpillars have evolved a very long time ago to avoid to be eaten by predator, by birds, by wasps, by ants also, because they cannot attack them. OK? Those guys are extremely small. This caterpillar is less than one centimeter and they are inside the leaf. And what I'm proposing to you guys today is to go outside and to find them out. Okay? And we're going to bring them back and we're going to try to study them under this microscope you can see behind you. So with the help of Cathy and all the teachers, we're going to set up a small laboratory here and we're going to study the leaf miner of Gamboa. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to be the first one because nobody knows that. Nobody knows the leaf manner of, of Gamboa. We never studied them. So are you guys up for this? Yeah. Exactly. And then how, how is it? How much is it? So you, you need to... 0.0? No, no, no. Look, so here you're zero. This is centimeters. One centimeter, two, three, four. So you have to measure from the end of the blade to the pistol. Up. Here. Oh, well. So you have like 4.2 centimeters. This is the, the full size of your blade, of your leaf blade. They might be old, you need to find them alive. Okay, and so okay. this gallery, this part they are fitting on, they must be transparent and or like a bit uh -huh, swelling and so well, on. Okay. 
because it's airtight. This is the yes. fantastic part. This yes, is an airtight gallery. So you need to find, look kids, you really, we really need to, we, we need to find leaf with this kind of gallery, but sometimes we didn't have much time, but sometimes they are doing like blotches like this, where actually the very small moss is going to come, it's flying, and then it's going to lay an egg inside the leaf, remember? Right. And in... These are the ones you... Yeah, Max, look! This These is perfect. So sometimes, so let's get back to the story again, guys. There is a small female. This is a moss, and I'm very sorry, I'm a terrible drawer. This is a moss, a female. It's coming, and it's going to lay an egg here. You see, inside the leaf. And then we have an egg inside the leaf. The egg is hatching out. Okay, like and then like a hatch no, I think it, no, I will say 24 hours at least. And then you have a very small, tiny caterpillar still inside the leaf. And then it's moving, it's feeding, feeding, feeding and again. And you can see the gallery is increasing. Why is that? Because Why? It's making a liner. What is happening when, when you're a kid and you're, you're, you're eating? You're growing. I found one. So as... Once you're big enough, you cook... You cook Legal. Legal. No, sorry. Sorry, no. And you can see here, it's, it's all... It's very old, but here you can see it was the part where the cocoon was. This is an old one. This is an old one. Yeah. Look. That's how it looks like. So you can see the, the female arrive, lay an egg inside, the caterpillar was inside the leaf, it fed, 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 doing all the cycle until doing the, the cocoon part. We call this part the pupation chamber. Okay. So this is where the metamorphosis of the Lepidoptera yeah. is doing. And when it's ready, it's coming out of the leaf. Hmm. And this is why it's all damaged and so on, because it had to hatch out. No, 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 no. no. So this is an Inga, I think it's uh, probably in, uh, I will go with uh, stipularis because you need to be a bit botanist also to do that okay. stuff. No, this is a necrosis. This is a hongo samor. Okay. Yeah, just get, get it here. Okay. Oh, I can do it. Guys, Victor, yeah. I think I found another one over there. Yes. Look, all the young leaves have the same here. This is Philognistis gracilaride. That's the name of the family. We found one. Look here. There are many. You can see him. Oh, this is the one that has the larvae. Yeah, they are alive. Look, there is another one here. Is it always Look here. one caterpillar per leaf? Very good question. Per blade, you mean? Per, uh, yeah, per, per blade. blade? Usually, yes, but sometimes. <laughs> yes, man, you did! Woo! Look! Look, where is the caterpillar? Show me. Here. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very nice job. Está comiendo. Comiendo, comiendo, comiendo. ¿Y qué, qué cree? What do you think the, the, the brown part is here? What, what do you think this line, the brown is? What can it be? So the caterpillar is here and it's feeding. What do you, what do you think is the brown line? Yes? Good job, Owen. Hey, look at this. What can it be? It's not a caterpillar, but it's yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't touch this man. It says mini, mini pond. Yeah. So remember, the female, the mama is coming, is laying her eggs inside the leaf. Then the caterpillar is eating, feeding, feeding, and then he's doing the pupation. So this is the cocoon, when the caterpillar is transforming to the adult stage. And you see this blotch? This is where it was. So when the adult was ready to go out, was ready to hatch, he pierced up the leaf, and you can see it here. You can like see this? the faces, you like can see the poo poo inside. Like you can see the, uh, the faces. The, the brown, okay. Uh -huh. like the black spots, okay. this is the, yes. the poo poo. You mean that alien that uh, purses This is nice for Like this? <laughs> Actually, he's, he's using his head capsule at first to make the a pre hole and then getting out of it. You guys, you, you can see the difference what I said. This is a caterpillar. They are feeding inside. Outside, sorry. I also find a bug. How, well, how do you call this one? A ladybug. 
No. I think it's a little. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's look it's look like it, but it's ooh, not. Guys, look, what can it be? I this one it, here. I think it's. I think the Callus brother is gonna eat something. This is highly weird. You see this hair here. At, at, the, uh -huh, at the end of the air, if I'm putting this caterpillar underneath a microscope, you will see balls of poison at the at the top of every single air. Ah, pasa, pasa. Eso es un moss. La familia se llama Saturnide. Silk moss in English. Wait, what is this thing? It looks like it, it looks like it, it's a leaf that has been shot a hundred <laughs> times already. This is no normal feeding mode. This is what I remember, Owen, the caterpillar. Usually they are feeding outside, so this is the type of hole they can do. But the leaf miner, they are inside the leaf, so it's totally different. This is the normal caterpillar we know, right? That's yeah. what normal caterpillars do. Yeah, but not the one we are looking for today. Hey, where's the regular one? Like, where's the caterpillar that is regular? Well, the external feeding Wait, type, no, so... Don't, don't touch it. No, I'll be careful, my love. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Hey, so it's actually uh, the family I'm studying. I'm specialized in this family. <laughs> this is probably Otomaris Lara, the Latin name. Teacher. Teacher. This is me? Hey, I want to ask you something. Please. In Guinness New Record, that it was called this, this, caterpillar as the most venomous caterpillar in the world i don't think so but they are to be honest with you if i'm touching it i'm going to have a lot of pain because they are they are very they are a bit poisonous uh, but one of the most poisonous i know yeah you you can have a you, you can have problems let's say are these the only insects that can act like parasites to leaves no there is other form too Maybe that's for another Friday, another, another science week. <laughs> there is so many cool stories I want to share with you guys. And there is so many insects. How long have you been studying these organisms? 15 years. Wow. <laughs> and are you, yeah. well, I guess I'm not, not studying the them anymore. One. Oh, no? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not studying them anymore now. Are um, they not on them? No, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm working on climate changes now. I, okay. I, this is, was very fundamental in my research at the beginning for my PhD yeah. postdoc, and now I'm, I'm, I'm purely 